Hey, Karthik here from Double Lab and welcome to the sixth video in our dialogue flow series. Today, we are going to look into building multilingual agents. Now, if you are building agents and want them to be available globally, localizing them is the best way to go about it. Users of your agents can be from any part of the world and would expect the bot to respond in a language familiar to them. So when you build agents that talk to users in their languages, it just adds a bit of personal touch. So let's get started and see how this works. So first of all, I have an agent here, which is called as localization demo. And what I'm going to do is by default, when I started this, it only supported the English US uh, language. And I can see that by going to settings and going to languages here, or I can also click on this plus button here and I can create a new language. So let's just click on this plus button here and I'll come to the same screen. And for this explanation demo, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the German version of uh, language as well. So I now have an agent which is now supported, supports two languages, which is basically the English US and the German language. So let's just save this here. Now, once I have done that, what happens basically is that this demo supports two languages. So I can click on this to highlight that specific language. So right now, if I click on DE, you'll see that the the German language of the the German uh, language of the demo opens up. So and everything else is almost the same. The intents, entities, and knowledge, everything is the same. Just that we switch the languages from here. So now that once that has done, that has been done. Let's go ahead and add a few intents here. So I have an intent here. Let's just say I add an intent and call it say random intent. And what's going to happen is it's going to return say something like if I said something like give me something random or let's say tell me something random. And uh, in response, what would happen is let's say I added a few response, which is something like, let's say it's just a simple good morning text. Now, once I have done that, I'll just click on save here. So basically created an, what I did was I created an intent by the name of random, added a few training phrases and had good morning as the response. And now once the agent training is completed, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to switch to uh, the Germany version of the the German version of the demo and what I'm going to do here is add a few training phrases as So let's add a few training phrases here I'm just going to add one here which is basically this phrase which is give me it was Zufalig and what it means is gives give me something random basically and let's just add that and if that happens what happens is the user res uh, the response would be something like Guten Morgen which is basically good morning in Germany, in German language, sorry. Right now, once I have done this, let's go ahead and save this and test it out. And the way to test this out really would be by using the simulator tools on actions on Google. Uh, so I'm just going to come here and I'm just going to load this again. So let's just open this up. All right, so now that the simulator is here, let's just open this up by saying talk to my test app. Okay, let's get the test version of my test app. Good day, what can I do for you today? And now if I say something like, give me something random. Good morning. It pretty much tells me uh, good morning, which is what we wrote in the English version of the agent. Now what I can do is let's just try and change this language. And the way to do that would be by changing it here. So let's just go here, click here. And let's click on Germany here. Now, once I do that, what I'm going to do is let's just start this again. Gerne. Here is the test version von meine test app. Ich grüße dich. Right. And what it is doing is basically it's saying hello. So let's just say give uh, give me it was Zufa link, which is basically give me something random in German. Guten Morgen. And there we go. That's how we would have a very basic localization of your agent. But 
Understandably, this is a very simple basic demo. Sometimes what happens is you would have to write your code in a web, web fulfillment hook and you would want to handle all the localization there. So let's see how we are going to do that in this case. So I'm going to go here, just going to go down here and let's just delete this response here and out here in fulfillment, let's just say enable fulfillment and I'll just enable the webhook calls for this intent. I'll just click on save. So now that means if I say give me something random in German, the response is not going to uh, come from here, but it's going to come from my fulfillment uh, part of the, uh, from my webhook basically. So now that that's handled, let's just go back here to the EN part. And once we come back here, we'll need to update that here as well. But if you notice something, if I enabled webhook call for one intent, uh, so I don't have to repeat it ev every at every place. So I can just come here and it will be by default switched on. So I'm just going to delete this so that we have a proper demo here. Let's just save this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the fulfillment here. So out here in fulfillment, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to enable the inline editor and have this entire code uh, deployed here. So basically you can see there's this code uh, that handles all the intents. What I'm now going to do is let's just create an intent here, a function here basically, which would be something like function random. We'll pass the agent to it and we'll just close this brackets and here what I'm going to write here is I'm going to write agent dot add good morning. But now we know that we have two different versions or uh, two different languages being supported. So that is something that needs to be handled here itself. So what happens basically is every time there is a call for from the EN US or the Germany version, it is always going to come to the same code base. So you don't have you don't have two separate code bases to attend to. You have only one code base where you check what is the locale of the agent. And the way to check the agent's locale is basically we'll write something like if agent dot locale is equal to let's say I write here in US, which is basically the US uh, English. And if that's the case, I want my agent to say good morning, which is pretty much straightforward. And in case it's not, if it's, uh, if it's Germany, which is basically agent dot locale is equal to DE, then it would look something like agent dot add Guten Morgen. And there we go. Now, once I have done this, don't forget to add that to the map. So I'd write something like intent map dot set random, which is the name of my intent and the function name, which is again random. And let's just save this. So now that once I have, once I have saved it, let's just come back and test it out. Just make sure that we also deploy this function by clicking on deploy here. And once that is done, I'm just going to fast forward to the testing part. All right. So now let's just test this out. I'm just going to say, talk to my test app. All right. Let's get the test version of my test app. And Hi, let's say, how are you doing? And let's say something like, give me something random. Good morning. Right. So this works properly. Let's just come here and what we are going to do is switch again to the Germany version of the app. And basically I'll just come back here and just copy the text that is needed. Yep. And let's just say, open the test app. Gerne. Starten wir die test version von meine test app. Hallo. Right. And I'm going to say, say, give me something random. Guten Morgen. And there we go. That's how you would handle a multilingual agent by with the help of a web web fulfillment web hook, right? So I hope you understood how to make a multilingual bot and I look forward to see what you build with this. 
as usual if you found this video helpful please like it and subscribe to the dabble lab youtube channel we have new videos out every week on everything related to voice development that's it from me until next time thank you